Hi guys, just a, a quick Wiser TV. Well, I say quick, it's going to be a bit of a chatty one. But um, today I was online floating through and I came across an article from, uh, I think it was the Bath Chronicle or something. And basically a Bath YouTuber had been exposed or had been uh, bashed online by someone she sent an email to. Um, to go and get a free hotel stay. Casey Nice, that style. Okay, so Bath YouTuber Ellie, L, L or Ellie Darby shamed by notorious white moose cafe owner. Okay, so Bath social, me Bath social media influencer Ella Darby said she was torn to pieces after being shamed by a notorious hotel and cafe owner in Dublin. The 22-year-old earns a living as a fitness and lifestyle blogger on YouTube with just short of 90,000 subscribers following her channel. Fair play, lad, that's really good. Her job often sees her work with major brands and other companies to promote them through social media in return for discounts and freebies. Right. Casey knows that kind of style. But a request she sent to Paul Stenson on the White Moose Cafe and Char Charville, Charville Lodge Hotel about a possible collaboration did not receive the response she expected. Mr Stenson, a self-confessed controversy addict on social media, decided to post her email requesting a complimentary stay at the hotel on Facebook along with a brutal message. Thank you for your email looking for free accommodation return for exposure, he said. It takes a lot of balls to send an email like that. It's not much, if not much, self-respect and dignity. So there's no need for that. I mean, I do agree it does take a lot of guts, uh, even, it takes a lot of guts for any YouTuber at any level. To, to ask for a freebie, but it's still 87,000 likes. I mean, if you were like Casey Neistat or like R Roberto Blake or someone like that, maybe. But mm, but I, I don't know what I'm talking about. Obviously, I'm only, only 250 subscribers. I, I, I know nothing. If I let you stay here in return for a feature in your video, who is going to pay the staff who look after you? Who is going to pay the housekeepers to clean your room? The waiters who serve you breakfast? The receptionist who checks you in? Who is going to pay for the light and heat you use during your stay? The laundering of your bed sheets, the water rates. Maybe I should tell my staff they'll be featured in your video in lieu of a receiving payment for work carried out while you're in your residence. The reaction to the post was mixed and some praised Mr. Stenson for calling her out, while others felt it was completely unfair to share the email and consider it bullying. Um, as, for, as for that, um, I sort of agree. Maybe not bullying. I don't think it was bullying, but exposing a private email between... Um, between Ella and a potential client, isn't that some sort of breach of privacy anyway? But yeah, that, that, that shouldn't have been put out, to be honest with you. And then he put out, and then the, then the same owner later on put out another post on Facebook. So it was, official apology to bloggers. Dear bloggers, following the incident today in which one of your members was clearly hurt and distressed about paying, having to pay for something like everyone else, I would like to make a statement. I am so sorry that I have waited until now to mobilize you in numbers and I am kicking myself that I didn't think about you before now. And each one of you is pissed off, and you all have your individual following, no matter how small. There is a fair chance that you all speak badly to your followers about us, which will result in a huge number of people hearing about our brand collectively. I am so sorry that I didn't think of you guys until now. You are a much more lucrative group of people to piss off than the vegans and the gluten intolerant combined. <laughs> sorry, I shouldn't laugh. Thank you for all your hard work, and don't forget to continue to spread the word about our business. Many thanks, Paulie. P.S. I hope all your followers are real and not bought. No point speaking to Mohammed in Istanbul about how horrible we are. Shit. See, there is no need for that. I think that was a bit... Especially that last comment was a bit stupid as well. But, okay, so there's, there's this guy basically had a pop. And then there was a video, which I need to sit and watch now. <laughs> I watched a bit. I'm, I'm, I've watched a bit of it, so let's sit and, sit and watch it. I'm not going to watch the whole thing. This one's for my blogging angels. This one's for my blogging angels. Oh, this dear. This one is for anybody who is or aspiring to be a social media influencer. It doesn't mean anything. That's, stop, 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 stop. I've got to say something. Social media influencer doesn't mean anything. You're a YouTuber or you're a daily vlogger. There is no such thing as a social media influencer. Anyone who comes on to Facebook or YouTube or Twitch or Twitter and has someone watching what they do, that is, is influence. So you're not a social media influencer, you're a YouTuber or a vlogger. That's just some, some made up term. I don't know who made up, but I hate that term, social media influencer. Everyone's, everyone has influence on everybody, social media influencer. And it's, it's, it's just daft. So yeah, YouTuber or daily vlogger, that's the first part. Never, ever feed into drama. It's not the sort of person I am. I'm so bad at confrontation. It makes me the most anxious person in the entire world. And usually with any 
other, I guess, situation like this, I would just, you know, sweep it under the carpet, whatever. Haters gonna hate. Be the influencer. That's how I make my money. That's how I live my life. It's the world I know. It is the only job that has brought me happiness. It's made me feel like I'm living my life purpose. I feel like I'm helping others to the real social media industry and the world and the people behind it. That obviously brings so many incredible opportunities. Opportunities like your favourite brands want to send you free clothes. Your favourite food companies want to send you free food. Hotels, travel agencies, the only places you could ever dream of visiting. Contact you, asking to work together in return for some exposure on your YouTube channel or your blog or whatever it can be. Over See, that is true. You do get some brands that will contact you and, and ask for that. But they've been they've been sent to you by YouTube or by your YouTube network that you've been signed by. And that's it. So, yeah. If that's it. So YouTube or your network have set that up. So they, they haven't contacted you especially. That's been set up for you. You know what I mean? So that's, that's another thing. And straight away, literally, within the video, I've heard you mention you want free things four times already. So... Yeah, it, it, it's, you're saying about it gives you incredible opportunities to get free things. Is that if that why you're on YouTube to make money and get stuff for free? <laughs> it's, it's, it's cool anyway. anyway I'm, I'm not going to bother watching any more of the video because it's not the video that interests me. I don't really find her interesting. I don't really find she's she's a bit she's a bit ty typical stereotype airhead sort of woman for me. And I don't mean that to be offensive. That's just how she's coming across. And if I do offend you, hello, I do apologise. I'm not here to offend you, I'm just here to point out the like, places I think that you went wrong. Right then. So, you opened your email uh, without even addressing him. You said, hi, my name is, like, like your M&M's. Hi, my name is, and, and carried on from there. Two, you dropped your numbers almost immediately. I have 87,000 subscribers. Like, like, I didn't ask. I didn't need to know that at that point. That's not you probably lead towards the end. Or, or you just mention it later in conversation. Also, social media influencer, like I mentioned in that, that little bit of the video playback, it doesn't mean anything. Social media influencer doesn't mean anything. It means less than nothing. You're either a vlogger or you're a YouTuber. That's 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 it. <laughs> oh yeah, this this always bothers me. You you name you name drops was it Orlando, Florida or something, or Universal Studios or something. You name you name drops a company you worked with straight away, that's that's something really off putting to, to employers. Or for brands um, like myself, I I run my own brand. I'm also sponsored by a brand. We get we get we get a little bit annoyed by name dropping. Like I've done this, I've done that, I've done that. Well, that's great. But what can you do for me? So, yeah, yeah. Don't don't name drop in emails. And like I said earlier on, you went straight in with the the free this, the free that. And you were saying in your video, if I contact them, they might. If I contact them, I might get a discount or a complimentary stay. Now, if you said that in your email. You may have been more interested, but you literally said, uh, I'll, I'll let you feature my, my YouTube video, my YouTube vlog, uh, for a free stay, for free accommodation was your words, actually. See, that, that's, that's kind of where you went wrong as well. You, you worded it wrong. It's not so much what you said, it's how you said it. So I would have said it somewhere like this. Cause I run a video production business. I have 250 subscribers on YouTube, which is basically less than nothing, let's be honest. But like, I'm not in YouTube for that reason. I'm in YouTube. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'd like to grow my channel, I'd like to grow an audience more, but I'm also, it's, it's just somewhere to place the work, isn't it? And it's somewhere where my videos live, my, my videos mainly live on other Facebook pages with up their companies. I work with artists, I work with companies, I work with a boxing bra, two boxing brands now. So yeah, it's, I don't really rely on YouTube as much as, as yourself, like you say, it's your business, this is what you do. Oh, that's fair enough, that's, that's, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not hating on what you're doing. <laughs> Anyway, was, this is how I would have made that email, because I'm trying to think of how to word this. I, this is how I would have worded the email because it came across a bit show off and a little bit. Yeah, look at me. I'm I'm on I'm, I'm on YouTube. Give me free stuff. This this is how I would have put it down from a video production perspective, because that, again, I'm only talking from how I would do it and how I know. So, dear Mr. and Mrs. Blah blah. Stephen was it Stephenson Stevenson? So, dear Mr. and Mrs. owner of the business name, okay? My name is Will Williamson. I run an independent video production business based in the southwest of England. I'm contacting you today because I came across your hotel on social media and I would love to come and visit. 
I would love to propose that during my day, uh, during my stay, I produce five videos for you. One daily vlog style video for my YouTube channel documenting my stay in your hotel which, which will contain the following videos. A food and service review video that will be made available for you to upload to your website and social media free of charge. A room tour and review made available for your social media and website free of charge. A short two to three minute promotional video produced for your hotel and social media and website free of charge. If this is of any interest to you, please feel free to email me or even call me on. Thank you for your time. Will Williamson, Wiser Productions. You notice I didn't ask for a discount. I didn't ask for a freebie. I didn't ask for anything. I just proposed that while I came down and stayed, that I made some videos for them. Now when you send that, the owner or the manager, whoever reads that email, will can be like, oh, okay, he's thinking about doing some videos while he's there. Maybe we can offer him something. That's how, that's how it works. Don't, don't propose... Don't propose or name drop or say numbers, just propose what you want to do while you're there, are they okay with it, and then maybe they'll give you something in return. If they don't, just go and do the video work anyway, or maybe, or maybe, just, don't, maybe just don't turn up for the, for the weekend.